You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, BriceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Salute to everybody that watches this content. We just crossed the 70,000 subscriber mark, and I appreciate all of the support and everybody, you know what I'm saying, that, that stays in tune with us and watches what's going on. You know, we took a little break, but we're going to be back in the mold doing what we do. Showtime SP just had a loss in his family. And you know what I'm saying? I've been spending time with my family making sure, you know, nobody wins when the family feuds, just getting things together and, you know, being whole and being one, you know what I'm saying? Because when you do this at a repetitive basis, you know, we could we spend a lot of time doing this. And, you know, my man, like I say, he just had a loss in his family. So God bless to everything that's going on. And we just lost Black Rob and DMX in the same week. One was 51, one was 50. Life is very, very short. You know what I'm saying? Like we got to. We got to definitely make sure we're taking care of what we got to take care of out here in this world. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a whole lot of things going on with the climate and social justice. So, you know, it, it, and the thing is, it was not a lot of battle rap stuff going on during that. It wasn't no events or nothing like that. So it was definitely a good time to revitalize, regroup, and, you know, refocus on what's, what the main mission is at, at this point. And that's bringing good content to the people and, you know, talking about what's going on in the battle rap world. So first and foremost, Geechee Gotti has clean paper on May 2nd. He's going to battle on the URL tournament, the 100 grand joint Ultimate Madness 3. Then he's going to turn around and battle clean paper like a week later. Dog, like, he trying to get enough bread to bake biscuits for the whole project. So I'm like, bro, like, you literally have a tournament that's worth 100 bands and you about to battle clean paper. Now, battle with clean paper is a battle that he should win, but I just be like, and I feel like, and I feel like Geechee Gotti should be focusing all his attention to that 100 grand battle. That's just me. Like, you literally three, four battles away from winning 100 bands. And if you lose, or if you have a not so great performance in the tournament, everybody gonna be looking at all these battles that you're taking on the outside as the reason why. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't focus on 10 things at once. So, I mean, I, I, like I said, a battle versus clean paper is a battle he should win. Um, he just battled Matt Hoffa and he won. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, he's one of the only people that I've ever seen that could literally be rapping, forget about something, and be like, yo, shout out to the Riot. That's my league right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the aim at his shirt, the heater flare, and then just jump right back into his verse. He's very talented, and he's able to freestyle very well. But I'm like, bro, with 100 bands on the line, you need to clear out your whole schedule and just focus on the mission at hand. But, uh, you know, the Hit List West promotes um, F Your Couch, Killer Instinct 3, uh, Geechee Gotti vs. Clean Paper, hosted by Floss and um, Yoshi G. That's going to be on Ruin Your Day, so it looks like it's going to be a free stream. So that should be good, but I'm just saying, Geechee, focus on the big picture, which is the 100 grand. That's a 100 grand, bro. Like, come on, fam. Um, battle Rap Ghost Riding. Um, yeah, I I've been seeing tweets. Yoshi G been tweeting over and over again. Different female battle rappers been getting at her. I seen Coffee Brown talking about it. I seen 40 Bars talking about it. I think Miss Hustle says something. Lady Caution. The thing, this is the reason why female battle rap will never go where it should go. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it, it's it's heading upwards. Like, Diva One have been doing a fucking amazing job getting that platform back to where it should be with Queen of the Ring. But these ghostwriting allegations, they have been surrounding female battle rap as long as I can remember. I mean, you got this person allegedly writing for this person. I heard Clean Paper wrote for this person. Heard, I mean, not Clean Paper, Quantum Physics be writing for this person. He wrote for that person. And I'd be like, yo, did Quantum really write Thought Boys? I'm not believe, Bro, the stuff that Yoshi G be rapping about Quantum, if, if you wrote that, you a wild boy. You a wild... You are a wild boy if you wrote any of the stuff that she be rapping about. She has drugs in the first round of Ultimate Madness. I've seen some of the bars that I don't know who wrote these bars. You know what I'm saying? It's just bars everywhere. People just putting up bars, like setups, haymaker schemes. And I'm like, bro, who, 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 but for why? Like, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Quantum Physics, he put up a bunch of lyrics, yo. Lyrics. I swear... I did not do, I, I swear I did no justice. How do you prescribe yourself that name and medically know nothing? You're supposed to be potent, pain reducing, patience to feel, desperate to this dose from this. 
but you clearly been cooked and stepped on so much he steered clear of dope objects. How dare you call yourselves drugs when you have never controlled the substance? Yo, he's literally leaking bars that he allegedly wrote. That, that controlled the substance line was kind of cool. <laughs> that controlled the substance. Hey, drugs, man, they team it up on you, dawg. I hey, man, they team it up on you. I don't know where, who knows who's writing this shit. <laughs> How dare you call yourself drugs when you never controlled the substance? Like, dog, that was fire. I ain't gonna lie. But it's like steroids in battle rap. Now, you know, ghostwriting is like a dream come true when it's tournaments like this. Because you got to think, right? People have to battle like every other week. So it'd be hard for certain people to come up with material that fast. If a ghostwriter says, yo, I'll help you win this tournament, but I need X, Y, and Z off of it, and the person that lists the help of a ghostwriter, it just messes up everything, though. Like, bro, like, this ghostwriting thing is out of control. I don't know if she got written for, you know what I'm saying? And I heard Clean um, Quantum Physics was on Angry Fan. They did an interview, so, you know, maybe he's expressing what he did or what he didn't do. She's saying from on Twitter that she didn't take no bars from him, but it's just, it, it's nasty all around. I'm not going to hold you. Like, I, I mean... Like, how do you, how can, how can one really say, and it takes away, because you know what, um, Coffee Brown was like feeling bad for Tori Doe, saying like, yo, Tori Doe did her thing, but she got, she got washed, and she could have got washed by a dude while battling against, um, yo, she, she was like, she was really voicing her opinion, like, yo, I feel bad because the women who actually do write their rhymes gotta get shitted on because women are getting help from super pens. It, it, it's one of those things that it kills female battle rap because every time somebody's super nice, the first thing somebody's gonna say is, hmm, do she got a ghostwriter? And if it is, that shit needs to stop. Uh, Daylight, salute to Daylight, you know what I'm saying? That was the main topic of this blog. He said, me and you are all on the phone right now. Who do the streets want to see me verse? Hollow, Kayshawn, Rum, Danny, Real Sick, Hitman, Cassidy, y'all pick. He just picked a bunch of names. And then he said, battle rap ain't been the same since I came back, y'all niggas is trash. Basically saying that, you know, Nobody has went to the level that he went versus Tay Rock. And, you know, that them three rounds was very crazy. And we really have not seen anything like that since that. But, you know, it was a small room and it was a one-time spectacle. So he says, I want to do the first two-on-one, like me versus Luke Castro and Shine. That's the only way it would be fair for y'all petty mortals. He says, Dear Battle Rap, there will be no, there will be no both people go home when my next battle. You bet your whole entire check. We bet in our bag, your social media, and it must, the other person's social media must turn into a fan page. I'm from where you lost. It was the end of you. And then he says, Vada Fly, I'm going to let you pick who you want to see me perish. Who do you want dead Vada? So it basically asks me, who do I want to see him against next? Um, I thought about it for a little second, and I said, Hollow to Don. Uh, the K Shine battle is a battle that it was talked about for a while, but it never came to fruition. Uh, the Rum Nitty joint. I don't know what's up with that, but I know him versus Hollow to Dawn. I mean, obviously Loaded Lux, whenever that does happen, but I said Hollow to Dawn, you know what I'm saying? That's just what I want to see. Like, he asked me, I picked what I want. Uh, y'all let me know who y'all want to see um, Daylight versus next, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it would be good to see him back in the ring because that Tay Rock battle, that is starting to wear off. Like, you're you, you going to have to do more. Like, that's not it. Like, that, that if you think for a second that we gonna let you have that forever. That was a great move, it was great what you did, but dog, that's not it. You gonna have to, you need to put up some more numbers. You can't just score 50 points in one game and never play again. Don't work like that daylight, you know what I'm saying? But, but, I will say this, you are controlling your narrative, you are controlling your career, you got the music thing going on with TDE, you definitely have control of your career, but I definitely will, must say, I speak for many when I say that we want to see you again. Like all of this politics and we can't see you till the next horizon and the moon has to go past the sun. Bro, is niggas gonna rap? Is, is y'all gonna rap? That's the question. That's all we want to know. Um, Other than that, salute to every single one of y'all out there, that notification gang, the subscribers, the people who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing, you know what I'm saying? I'm working with a clear mind, a good headspace, man, and I'm just focused on doing what I need to do for not only the people that watch this content, but the people who come here really wanting to gain some knowledge and grow and continue to, you know, develop themselves, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I have not been perfect all of my life, but I'm a work in progress, and I'm just continuing to work on myself. Like I said, and my man Showtime SP, he's doing good, you know what I'm saying? And, and 
in the fact that you know he lost a family member and um once he gets his things together he's ready he's already ready you know how he is he's already ready to jump in that bag but i definitely told him take some time off you know what i'm saying focus on the family spend some time with your kids you know what i mean and just do what you got to do you know what i'm saying because this is always going to be here the youtube thing is always going to be here we're always going to be able to recap we're always going to be able to do shit like that but you got to focus on what you need to focus on um i send my regards but keep the man in your prayers and um ghost riders ghost riders i mean i, I i'm sorry and i don't want no smoke i don't want no smoke with nobody i don't want no beef with nobody about this situation here please God bless every single one of y'all out there. I hope that y'all having a good day and keep staying strong, man. You know what it is, gang.